Hello everyone. Welcome to Insights into Your Being. The good news is that I have been invited as an expert in child counseling for a talk show that is that is released online on First Post and Mom's Presso. The topic was good touch and bad touch for children. The episode has been released yesterday and I've shared its link in the description box below. Do watch and share your love in the comment section. I'm just too excited to receive and read all of those comments. Now, coming back to our body messages. Let's talk about headaches today. I'll also be talking about neck problems and throat problems. To begin with, let's talk about headaches. Headaches come from invalidating the self. The next time you get a headache, stop and ask yourself where and how you have just made yourself wrong. Forgive yourself. Let it go and the headache will dissolve into the nothingness from where it came. Yes. Migraines are one such form of headaches. They are created by people who want to be perfect in their lives, who create a lot of pressure on themselves. A lot of suppressed anger is involved when you have migraines, especially anger to your own self. Sinus problems are felt right in the face. It's such a common problem and it comes back once you stop taking medicines and you have to repeatedly continue taking those medicines and it just doesn't seem to end. It's so close in your face and to your nose. It represents being irritated with people so close to you. So look in that area and see what can you change there to get rid of this problem. Is someone so close to you bearing down on you? We forget that we create our situations and then we give away our power to others by blaming them for our frustration. No person, no place, no thing has any power over us for we are our thinkers in our minds. We create our experiences, our reality and everything in it. When we experience harmony and peace in our minds, we see it in our lives. The neck and the throat. The neck and the throat are really fascinating because there's so much stuff going on there. Our neck represents the ability to be flexible. Flexible in our thinking. To see the other side of the situation and to see the other person's viewpoint. When there are problems uh, related to the neck, it usually means we are not willing to, we are stubborn about our own concept of a situation. So next time when you see somebody with a collar, it means that there is a lot of stubbornness about not seeing the other side of the situation. Likewise, the throat represents our ability to speak up for what we want, our truth. When we have throat problems, that usually means we do not feel the right to do what we want. We feel inadequate to stand up for ourselves. Sore throats are always anger. And if there's a cold involved, it means when you're angry and you cannot speak, you have problems related to the throat. And if there is cold too, that means there is a lot of mental confusion. The throat also represents the creative flow in the body. This is where we express our creativity. And when our creativity is frustrated, we often have throat problems. We all know many people who live their lives pleasing others, who are people pleasers, pleasing their parents, pleasing their lovers, their spouses, their bosses and so on. Thyroid and tonsillitis are problems where frustration is involved. It's just frustrated creativity resulting from not being able to do what you want. The energy center is in the throat here, the fifth chakra where a change is taking place. So see if you, are you resisting any change? 
whenever you're willing to change or you're wanting to change, there is something happening in our throat. So next time you uh, notice yourself coughing, stop and ask yourself or say out loud, I am willing to change. You can touch your throat and say that. Are you resisting something? What are you trying to say that you're not able to? Isn't all of this interesting? Every organ in our body is a magnificent expression of life with its own special function. Just for a moment, try to visualize the vastness of this universe. It is beyond our comprehension. Even the topmost scientists with their latest equipments are unable to talk about its size, to measure its size. Within this universe are so many galaxies and in some way far in the corner there is one minor sun blazing and there's some planets revolving around it and one such planet is our Earth. The universe is so vast. So let not any outmoded thought nourish you or support you. All your thoughts take form of something or the other in our body. If it's a positive thought, it will create health in your cells and vitality in your cells. And if it's a negative thought, it changes the size of the cells and constricts it, creating uneasiness, dis-ease or pains and aches. Our body tries to give out messages, talks to us through these pains and diseases or illnesses. So just take a moment and think if you're experiencing pain in any part of your body, ask that body part, what are you trying, trying to tell me? What is it that I'm not able to perceive? Where do I need to change? You cannot keep doing same things and expect different results. You keep on taking medicine, the problem comes back. You need on keep on taking medicine and the problem com comes back. When it doesn't change, you need to do something different. And that difference can be in your thinking patterns. Try doing this and share your experience with me. Watch out for more such videos on body messages. If you're listening to me for the first time, do subscribe my channel to receive the notifications of the latest videos. And if you like this video, hit the like button and Share it with other like-minded people. If you like the videos, it appears in front of many other people and they get to watch it. Stay tuned. Love yourself.